guys it's Jonathan here and welcome to another lesson on producing and creating a chart first of all I want to try and keep this lesson below five minutes and get all it's done as soon as possible so let's get started this lesson is about side chaining and um, the side chain is in every trance track that you've ever heard a lot of a lot of dance techno um, progressive house it's just everywhere so anyway the old method in FL Studio is to create an FX channel on the kick, going to the mixer and then adding a fruity peak controller and then automating that and blah 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 and it's just basically throwing the volume on the side chain pad up and down, up and down like that. And it gets a bit tedious because, well, you end up having to create two kicks and, oh well, it's just, just annoying. So. We're going to be talking about if you have FL Studio 9, how to create a side chain using the Fruity Limiter. Right, so create your kick, add this to an FX channel, create a pad, and I'm going to move over to pattern 2 here. Uh, create your pad and create some kind of baseline or whatever you want. Okay, um, something to go with your baseline to accompany it. Uh, so start creating your thing here okay and I'll shove this down here right you want to add this pad to an FX channel mine's already on 5 go into the mixer right click your kick FX channel 1 right click on this arrow which is below five it's pointing upwards it will be grayed out not like mine right click it oops right click it and select side change this track okay so that's on our pad there now you can click our fx channel five which is our pad and create a fruity limiter so if i play this back That's terrible. I need to turn that an octave, two octaves down. Select all with Control A and Control down arrow to move it down an octave. So I've just done that twice. Okay. So that's not side chained. Um, so let me just pause this a sec. I just got to pause this, and I'll continue in a second. Guys, I'm back. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, anyway, so the, what you want to do is click on comp here on your fruity limiter that you added to FX channel 5 and under side chain move up there uh, to 1. Okay, play that back. Nothing's happening. Uh, it's not side chaining, is it? Anyway, to get this side chain effect, you see this threshold here? Drop this down. Okay, try and get it wherever you need it. So you can tweak it later. I'll just shove it in the middle. Now this is where the side chaining comes in. You can get a non-inverted one by going to the left on the ratio, which would be like this. Okay, you just click the settings to get the sound you want and with the threshold if you go to the right then you'll get a like an inverted one okay which will sound like this which is probably what everyone wants Basically, a quick and easy way to get a side chain using the limiter. Okay, hope that helps.